Hi there, my name is Casey. Welcome to or welcome back to Casey Cooks. Today we're making pita turkey hands. This is a recipe for all ages. So the first thing we need for this recipe is clean hands. So pause this video, go wash your hands, and I'll be here when you get back. So for this recipe, you'll need a plate, you'll need a sharp knife and a soft knife. Have an adult with you when you get your sharp knife. We don't want little hands on sharp knives. A soft knife can be anything from a plastic knife to a butter knife, anything that isn't sharp. You'll also need at least one cup and spoon for all of your ingredients. You can use ranch dip or cream cheese for this recipe. I think I've made it using both. So it's totally up to your taste palette. If you don't like cream cheese, you can use ranch dip. If you don't like ranch, you can use cream cheese. It tastes the same, mostly, and does the same thing. You'll also need pita bread, or if you have a tortilla, that works as well. Veggies, so you can use any vegetables you like. So today I have celery, carrots, and peppers. You can use anything you have in your house. Raisins, just like one or two raisins is fine, and shredded cheese. So the first thing we need to do is wash our veggies. So have an adult help you wash your veggies. Mine are already washed, and then you can bring them back to your workstation and we'll start the recipe. So the next thing we're gonna do is cut our veggies. Like I said, ask your adult or your parent or guardian to help you with sharp knives. You can cut your vegetables as thin or as thick as you'd like, just make sure that they're in strips. So your peppers should be in strips, celery should be as celery is, and I have some carrots in strips as well. Um, so yeah, just make sure you cut them in strips. They can be little strips, big strips, skinny strips, however you'd like to eat them, that's totally fine. If you have cucumber or squash or something like that, you can cut them into slices like you normally would. You don't have to worry about cutting them into strips. So after our veggies are good to go, we're gonna make our turkeys. You may have noticed that you don't need any actual turkey for this recipe. That's because today we're gonna to be making hand turkeys out of our pita or tortillas. So I'm gonna walk you through it. So you're gonna put your hand on the pita or tortilla, and then you're gonna take your soft knife and you're gonna cut around your fingers, sort of trace around your fingers with the knife so you can cut out a shape of your hand on the pita or the tortilla. If you need help, please ask for it. I'm sure your adult or parent or guardian wouldn't mind lending you some assistance. And take your time. It's totally okay to go your own pace. Depending on what type of knife you have, it might even be better to go slow. And just make sure to be safe. And if you have little ones at home, you'll probably want to help them with this anyways. So be as precise as you can get. You want to make sure that your fingers are very defined. And you can go over it more than once if you have to. When you get to your wrist, you can just go straight down around your wrist. You don't necessarily need to go under it. Sometimes it helps if you take your hand up after you've traced around it and you can better define the edges if you're having some trouble. Once you have finished cutting your pita hand, you're going to remove the excess around your traced hand and just put it aside. You can eat it later if you'd like, but today we're going to be focusing on your hand. So you may be wondering where the turkey comes in. So if you hold your hand up, here's my hand, you may notice that it sort of looks like the side profile of a turkey. So here's the turkey's head, here's its body, here are its feathers. My pinky's falling off a little bit, that's okay. <laughs> it doesn't have to be perfect. As long as it looks like this or like your hand, you're good to go. Just, you can use your knife, you can use your spoon, just make sure it's thick on there. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, just make sure you cover your whole hand or as much of your hand as you can in your sauce. Your thumb is going to be the turkey's head. 
So this is where we'll take our raisins and we'll make some eyes. So you can put one eye or two eyes, however many eyes you want. Just stick it on there. That's your eye. And then you can use your shredded cheese to make a beak, to make the little feather things underneath the turkey's mouth. You can do anything. This, this is your kitchen, you're the chef, you can make the call. When you're finished decorating your turkey's head, you're gonna decorate the feathers. So the rest of your fingers will be where your veggies go. Now you can put any veggies any place you want. So you can put your feathers as your peppers, or if you have celery, you can make those your feathers. You can do one celery and one pepper, and one celery and one pepper. You can make a pattern. It can be random. It's completely and totally up to you. So complete creative freedom here. It's okay if your veggies are a little bit bigger than your hands, that's okay too. Feel free to be as creative as you'd like. And don't be afraid to get messy. Something we say at Casey Cooks is you can make a mess or a masterpiece or both. It's completely up to you. I'm going to put my carrots at the bottom. Some more peppers. So here's how I decorated my turkey. Oh, falling a little bit. I'd like to see your turkey. If you're watching on Facebook, go ahead and drop me a photo in the comments. If you're watching elsewhere, you can tag me in your photos. Use the hashtag CaseyCooks. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope to see you soon.